Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Nye. Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I actually had a video filmed to edit today, but I decided that I was going to kind of like lay back and like reassess my thoughts and things that have been going on for me this month of January because we are approaching February rather quickly. Today's January 26th, Thursday, and I've just been kind of like reflecting on the month so far. And while I was doing so, of course, you know, I always am thinking about you guys when I'm going through like my reflections and like my goals and, this, you know, things that I'm doing as far as getting back to myself and getting back ahead of my entrepreneurship journey. So today's vlog is going to kind of be like a pod vlog or like another visual diary type of vlog where I'm using. It's going to be footage that you guys have seen before. And if you haven't seen it, well, now you're getting some other footage from the channel, but I'm just going to kind of like sit and talk to you guys and see some things. We're going to talk about some discipline, some, you know, work, work, healthy habits, like new mindset shifts that I've gone through and just overall how I'm actually doing. So hope you guys are interested in this. If you are, go ahead and like this video for me right now. But yeah, let's go ahead and start this. I am getting uncomfortable um, with my life because this is not where I want to be. And so with that, I was like, January, I'm going to show myself that. I can bust these goals out. I'm not going to push myself to exhaustion, but I'm definitely going to prove to myself that I can be consistent. And so with that, I'm going to read you guys this quote that I have had on my vision board. When I made my vision board, um, the quote says, the most successful people in life are disciplined. Discipline is made up of the basic tools we use to cope with life's problems and challenges. Without discipline, we can solve nothing. So I'll put that quote up on the screen for y'all, but Basically, what that means for me is like you you definitely are not going to see any progression if you're not being self-disciplined in your goals. Like you have to not only set a goal, but you have to have discipline in actually trying to achieve them. So that means holding yourself accountable when you realize you're not doing when you're at 65 percent. You got to wake up and be like, no, this is not my best. I can do better than that. How am I going to do better than that? And that's kind of what January was for me. It was about. Sure, you guys are seeing me like post all this content and get back consistent and stuff, but this was personal. I'm glad that I'm able to still connect with you guys and like help you guys on your journeys. But this this month was very, very personal for me. I needed to prove to myself that I still got it. Like you fell off for a time, but it's OK. You got yourself back up. And there's a lot of things that are going on, like behind the scenes that I cannot wait to share with you guys. I'm working on so many different projects. Um, can't really say it too much today, but the pro the point that I'm making is when I got back to a place of feeling confident in myself, I really just showed up and showed out because it's like, how are you not operating at 100% every day? Every time you fall into that 80, 75, 60%, you're missing a chance to achieve a goal that you set for yourself. So we're just going to get into a little bit of the habits and things that I've learned over this past like four weeks. I want to say four weeks. Um, and then I'll share some of the things that have helped me to continuously push myself. So one of the things that has definitely helped me with maintaining my self-discipline is that I had to learn that you have to expect frustration. Not every single goal that you want to go after or not every single task is going to get done every day. So if you go into it knowing that you're going to be faced with some level of challenge or, you know, not every success is going to be a success instantly. That's what it was for me. It was like, you're not going to get everything instantaneous. You have to actually continuously develop healthier habits, approach things with new mindsets, you know, solve problems in a different way. And if you get frustrated along the way, that's okay. That is okay. That does not mean quit. You have to stay open and be committed to your goals. And I think that I proved to myself again, I'm sorry, I'm making this very personal. I hope this relates to some of you guys. But like I said, this month was very personal for me. I just proved that self-discipline leads to um, self-confidence because the more you are able to push through those failures and like, you know, get uncomfortable with different things that are going on in your life and like, you know, challenging yourself, like pushing yourself to keep going when you really want to lay in bed all day and just give up. That was what pushed me to be more confident. Now, you can't tell me nothing like I know I'm hardworking. I know that it's going to be a challenge to continuously do everything that it is that I want to do. But I'm okay with that. I'm in a space where I'm just okay if not everything happens exactly the way that I expect it to. I'm at a place where I see the vision, 
And no matter how I get there, I'm just going to get there. Okay, you can't you can't plan every single little detail of the journey out. And that was something that I was doing for a very long time. It's like I just have this thing where I'm trying to be in control of every single aspect of my life. And that's just so it's so stressful. It's very, very toxic in a way. But anyway, when you go into things expecting a challenge, knowing that there's going to come a time where you have to do something out of your comfort zone, you're going to feel much better about that challenge when it comes to you. You're not going to feel so defeated. So that was one of the things that I learned. The second thing that really pushed me or that I really you know, learned this month was that if we want to succeed, we have to be willing to work harder than anybody else. And that means even if you got to put yourself in competition with yourself, like I did this yesterday, but today I'm going to do this and I'm going to do it 10 times harder than I did it yesterday just to see what the results are like when you are consistent with your efforts and everything you do. And this is for me. I always, 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 always admired Beyonce's work habits and her like dedication to get into where she wants to be in life. And I definitely am the Beyonce of my life, period. I don't care what nobody say. Is giving Beyonce energy. So I definitely was just trying to like go the extra mile and like work those extra hours and, you know, learn more things about what it is that I'm trying to do and find information that's valuable, not just consuming mass loads of information from other people's perspective. I actually wanted to go into a lane that fit me and my actual life, my lifestyle, because the second you're comparing your lifestyle to somebody else's, your hard work could be hard work. But if you don't see the results that this other person is getting, now you feel like you're not being successful. And that's just not, that's not a healthy way of thinking about things. So first of all, you have to be satisfied with the life that you're living. And if that life is average, be okay with average, but also be okay knowing that you don't want to be living average forever. So work hard at it and, you know, visualize the stuff that you want to see for your life. That's why I say make a vision board. And as to be honest with you, I'm going to make a new vision board every single month. I have one for my year. But I also have different visions of where I want my life to be every month, you know, or every quarter or however often you feel like you need to like readjust your vision. But that's something that really helped me this month was just like, just keep working hard. There was days where I felt like giving up, y'all. I was like, my computer is not working. I'm trying to upload these videos. I know y'all saw my vlog. My um, There was days when my Wi-Fi was turned off and I just couldn't upload a video, but didn't give up. I surely did go to the public um, library. And get this video uploaded because it's like the second you start giving up on yourself, you're 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 disappointing yourself. You're not. It's it's all on you to actually get your goal achieved. So no one else is going to do it for you. So I had to keep pushing and I'm seeing results and I'm happy about it. So like the third thing that I was focused on this month was prioritizing my health. And that goes in all aspects, my spiritual health, my mental health, my physical health, Ooh, my physical health. Um. I learned that disciplined people understand that in order to thrive in life or in your business, anywhere in life, you have to be healthy. You cannot show up for yourself or anyone else if you are not healthy, especially as being an entrepreneur. We're working for ourselves already. So all the responsibilities in our life already fall on us. So if you're not taking that extra time out of your day to meditate or, you know, eat something or drink enough water um, you know, stretch because you're sitting at a desk nine times out of 10. So if you're not committed to being healthy, you will eventually just fall off anyway because your physical health is not real. But then that goes into like your physical health not being well leads to your mental state not being well. I always say like, if you feel good, you look good and you do good. I always tell myself that no matter what I'm doing, I have to look good because it's going to make me feel good. And when I feel good, I'm able to do better. So I practiced this month. I was like, I'm going to get up. I did my mini braids so that my hair was already done every day because I know how I am. If my hair is not done, I'm not filming a video. <laughs> I just can't. I don't know what it is. It's just like my hair. This is my crown. Like I have to have my hair look presentable in some way, even if it's not a $500 braids, you know, install. Even if I'm doing my braids and my part's not clean, I don't care. As long as my hair is done, I can show up on camera and feel good about the video. Or feel good about how I look on camera. So that was something that I did. I did a mini braids. And then, you know, following that, I just committed to my skincare routine. Because another part of being on camera is physically, like, looking at yourself all the time. And other people looking at you. So I was like, I have to do better with my skincare routines. I have to drink more water. 
And I mean, I'm going to, I'm not even going to sit here and lie. I know that I don't drink enough water. So that was something that I was like, as long as just drink more water, even if you're not drinking the appropriate amount you're supposed to every day, drink more water. Okay. Make a step to saying you're going to like take care of the water intake that you're supposed to have. So I did that, but I know I'm rambling a little bit, but all I'm saying is that people who are not disciplined in your health area of life are just all your balance is off in all ways. So take time for yourself, like do your self care baths, you know, take a day off once a week. Um, do something childlike, you guys, that was another thing that I focused on this month was like honoring my inner child. So I started playing my games with my daughter again, you know, just playing different things. We started I made over her bedroom recently. So it was like, she's got this beautiful pink bedroom now. And it's so vibrant in there. It just feels like a little girl's dream in her room right now. So I was in there like, you know what? This is the type of space that I need to be in. Not only do I need to feel good on the outside, but I want the spaces that I'm in to look good as well. So I'm not all the way there yet, but I'm definitely planning to redo my bedroom, redo my office, redo my, I want my whole house redone. I want to declutter. I want to focus on healthy insides and healthy outsides. So that was just something that I also, you know, paid a lot more attention to because showing up for myself is the only way that I'm going to be able to show up for y'all. So that's basically that. The fourth thing that I was focused on for the month of January was my mindset. And this is something that has been a very long time coming. If you've seen my other visual diaries where I'm going through like explaining how my self-transformation journey has been going. I kind of briefly talked about this, but today, as of January 26th, I have completely mastered the idea that disciplined people are very, very careful about what thoughts they allow to enter their mind. Like what you are allowing to occupy your mental space is going to affect your success in the long term. So I know it's easy to say like, you always have to keep a positive attitude, but in reality, it doesn't matter if your attitude is not necessarily positive 100%, but if you're approaching the challenges and the negative things with a more positive perspective, then you are able to see a different direction and how you can move in whatever you're going through because life comes at you fast. And I'm not going to sit here and say that I was still able to be kumbaya every day because we all go through things, but success is not easy and it's not going to come easy. So if you're always going to be down on yourself every time that something doesn't go the way that it's supposed to for you or you're faced with a challenge that is a little bit more challenging to actually overcome than you wanted it to be or you lose an opportunity like whatever it is just try to maintain balance in your mindset your mental state any thoughts that are occupying your mind have to be focused around i will get through this i am okay this moment may not be the best moment but i will get through it because the more you implement positive thinking into your life, the more positive things will manifest, basically. It's like the law of attraction. What you get out or what you put out, you get back. So I always was thinking about that this whole month. Like my computer, I keep referencing that. But during that Mercury retrograde, you guys, my laptop went through. I can't even begin to explain to you what actually happened with my laptop and my hard drive. I lost my hard drive. There goes hundreds of videos and different pieces of footage that I actually I just lost right anyway I was down about that because that is my business that's what's holding all the footage for me to upload my videos on my laptop does not have enough storage on it to hold all of the files that I'm using anyway instead of like sinking in that and sulking in that for so long I just went ahead and bought a new hard drive because that was my lesson to myself you're supposed to have a backup of your backup so it wasn't a failure. It was very disappointing and I'm still disappointed to this day, but I didn't let that like take up too much of my, my work ethic. You know what I mean? Like I couldn't stop my flow because one thing didn't go right. You just got to fix it and move on. And that's part of my like evolving. Like that is just, I don't know. I'm just not getting stuck in one state of mind for too long. I'll, I'll, I'll honor my thoughts. And I know that this wasn't something that I was always doing. I'll honor that I'm not feeling good about the situation, but that don't mean that you got to let that become, it doesn't have to manifest into your whole day and it doesn't have to take over your whole mental space. Like focus on the positive and keep it pushing. So that also really helped me. Okay. So this one was huge for me in January. Patience. The word is patience. To be disciplined, one must be patient. 
Success is not event, but a process, okay? Disciplined people basically understand that patience is their greatest virtue because the second you get impatient about something not, you know, moving as fast, now you're for, now you're forcing and anything that you're trying to force just will probably not go the way that you want it to go. You need to be able to wait, trust that things will come on their own time, trust that the universe and whoever it is that you, you know, your higher power is doing things for your greatest good. So if something is moving along a little bit slower, there's probably a reason for that. So if you can sit and like think a little bit or like pull back your energy from that specific project and move on to something else, try to do that. I very, I learned that very quickly. Well, like I keep saying this laptop situation, instead of focusing so much on, okay, my videos are not getting uploaded. Okay, take a, take a break from YouTube for a second. I took three days off one day and that just wasn't part of the plan. I was supposed to have a video up every other day, but that wasn't in my... That was just not in the alignment for me. So what I did instead was I started to focus more on, you know, building my business for, um, in the back end like I've been doing. I've been focusing on trying to get this new business started and all things that. So the second that I, like, became more patient with the challenge that it was that I was facing, I was seeing new opportunities come. Like, my computer wasn't working, but I've been getting brand emails. I've secured some major brand deals lately, you guys. Like, I just... Opportunities will come that you're looking for if you don't absolutely go seeking them all the time or if you don't force them to come into fruition all the time. You have to just be sometimes. And honestly, that's just part of being patient and self-discipline. So I'm really like proud of myself for some of these things that I worked through. I'm not all the way there yet. Like I'm still having my little days where I'm like, oh, I wish this would just hurry up and do what I needed to do. Because when I don't when stuff doesn't go my way, I'm very, very irritable. But this month, I've learned if it doesn't go your way, move on to the next thing and come back to it. There's probably a reason why that's not working out for you. So there's a lesson to be learned here with patience. And it's going to be a test that I got to keep working through. But I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys, the more that you can trust yourself and your guides and the universe, I'm telling you things will just fall in line. Now, piggybacking off of being patient, another P word that I focused on this month was my punctuality. And that's just a very, very important thing for everyone to have, especially in your entrepreneur journey. If you set a goal for yourself and you have a deadline to complete something, make sure you're doing that in a timely manner because you have you have to push procrastination off. Like procrastination just cannot manifest into your life because it will take over. And I'm one to procrastinate. And I, actually, if I'm being real, I've always said that I'm a perfect procrastinator because I can procrastinate all day and night and still get it done. But is that the really is that the best way to be doing your goal? Is that the best way to be completing your deadlines? No, that causes stress, which stress leads to impatience. Impatience leads to negative thinking. And the whole thing is just like my whole alignment is just off. So basically what I did was um, at the beginning of January, I did my content calendar for January for YouTube. And I planned out every single video that I wanted to have uploaded when I wanted it to be uploaded. And I, I stuck true to that. Maybe I missed a day or two and I had to like, you know, push it back an hour or so. Whatever the case may be, I have still uploaded just as many videos this month as I plan to when I plan to do it. Um, There's other things that I've had to do. I have deadlines as far as like my brand content goes and different sponsorships and like reviews that I have to post. Those are things that I fit into my schedule so that when they are time to be completed, I can complete them on time. I used to be one to just, you know, loosely put content out when I felt like it. I didn't actually have a schedule where I didn't really stick to any organizational habits as far as like getting the task done. And that was just not, it was not, I was, I was not going to lead to as much success as I could have had I been organized this whole time. So healthy habit is to be punctual and be on time as often as you can. Every time be on time. And the very last thing that I want to say in this video is organization. I had to really be organized to be successful. Disciplined people have an organized system that they operate from. I started paying attention to some of the most successful people who I look up to and some of the different things that they use, like their systems to, you know, operate their daily life. Like, how do you stay on top of it? How are you a mom, entrepreneur, wife, you know, husband, husband whatever it is, like, how do you do it all? And like I said, that Virgo energy, I want to get it all done and I want it to all be done with quality. So I have to focus more on staying organized. And one of the things that I did, like I just said, was plan out my content for the whole month. 
I've been keeping notes on my phone. I've been making lists. I've been using multiple different calendar systems, reminders on my phone, just all type of different things so that my chaotic life does not seem so chaotic. And filling up the time gaps where I could just sit and scroll on my phone for two hours, fill that space up. The second you start sitting there and just scrolling, I've always thought, what could I be doing instead? What could I be doing right now that's not going that's going to actually be productive? That's not going to be a time wasting practice. Like, what could I do? And with that, it might have seemed like I was like being overly productive and being overly busy. But like I said, this was very personal for me. And I was having to prove to myself that I can stay organized. I can cut out the distractions and I can maximize the time that I have in each day so that these opportunities can come to me the way that they are supposed to. And baby, let me just say opportunities are falling into my lap very, very quickly. And like I said, I just got back on YouTube in December and it's the end of January and I'm already seeing like a snowball effect of just, just overall positivity and success. So if you take anything from this video, please take this with you, get organized, start to organize your work life, balance that out with your personal life and create a flow that works for you. You don't have to mimic the wake up at 5 a.m., go to the gym, do all these things to stay productive. Like if that doesn't fit in your lifestyle, don't force it. But do find some type of system that works for you and work at it. And it takes 30 days to build a habit. So like I said, January is about being very consistent so that I can see that I can actually do this every single day. And I'm almost at the end of my 30 days and it's getting effortless for me. So um, I did just want to share some of these like different self-discipline hacks or different tips and stuff that I've learned in my personal life. These are my actual experiences. So I wanted to share that with you guys and hopefully I can like inspire you guys to take your success seriously and you know maybe maybe discipline needs to be the theme for you in February so that you can also do some of these things more consistently and see more success in your life as well but shout out to everybody who made it through to the end of this video I feel like I've talked a whole lot if you did please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel I am trying my best to also accomplish reaching more boss babes and anytime you guys interact on the channel it really helps me to do that so Thank you guys so much for watching this video through to the end and I'll get with you guys next time. Peace.